Diabetes type 2 is the leading cause of new onset of blindness and renal failure. 10% of the general population have diabetes. Understanding this illness and detecting it in the early stages of development is necessary to prevent premature death and maintain a good quality of life. This video will be an overview of diabetes mellitus type 2. By watching till the end, you will find the answers to the most common questions about this disease. Diabetes is currently defined as a chronic metabolic disorder, characterized by abnormally elevated levels of blood sugar. However, some researchers are starting to point at it as a possible result of an autoimmune disease. There is no complete evidence to support those claims yet. About 10% of the adult population suffers from diabetes. 20% of people don't know they have it. Common types of diabetes mellitus include but are not limited to the following. Type 1 is also called insulin-dependent diabetes, caused by lack of insulin production. This is a result of destruction to the pancreatic cells by the body's immune system. Type 2, non-insulin-dependent, has an adult onset with gradual loss of insulin production and or presence of insulin resistance. It is the result of genetic and lifestyle factors. Other types of diabetes include gestational diabetes. That appears during pregnancy due to hormones secreted by the placenta. This type of diabetes disappears in most cases after giving birth. Factors that may increase your risk of developing type 2 diabetes include the controllable and the out-of-control factors. Non-controllable factors such as having a parent or sibling with diabetes. People above the age of 40. In addition to certain races and ethnicities that are at higher risk also. Controllable factors such as obesity, inactivity, and dyslipidemia, are vital elements to consider when preventing or treating diabetes type 2. To access the diagram of risk factors of diabetes, visit our Facebook or Pinterest page. You will find the links in the description. Medications and secondary illness, are often a trigger of the disease in a person already at risk of developing diabetes mellitus. Medications such as glucocorticoid and thyroid hormones. Illnesses include the inflammation or removal of the pancreas, or dysfunction of another gland in the body. Sleep disorders, and other life stressors, also play a role in diabetes. Signs and symptoms vary in intensity among people, and are related to the level of blood glucose. Low blood sugar levels, also called hypoglycemia, is a medical emergency that may lead to death. Common signs of this condition are sweating, trembling, hunger, and loss of consciousness. This condition happens more frequently if the patient skips meals or increases physical activity without adequate sugar consumption. Taking too much insulin induces this state also. Hyperglycemia means high blood glucose levels. The most common signs of this condition are the triple P's. Polyuria means frequent urination, polyphagia refers to eating frequently, and polydipsia is excessive thirst. Other symptoms may occur to different degrees of intensity. Tiredness, weight loss, increased occurrences of infections, and vision changes. Prediabetes is a common medical condition, according to CDC, one in three adults in the United States has this condition, and 84% of them don't know about it. The good news these cases are reversible. By simply following a better lifestyle, you can prevent or delay developing this disease. Prediabetes is defined as higher blood glucose levels than normal but not high enough to diagnose it as diabetes. Having signs and symptoms of hypo or hyperglycemia are important signals to get tested for diabetes. Meeting one of the following criteria lead to the diagnosis of this illness. Having a random blood sugar twice above 11 millimoles per liter at any time, even after eating. Having fasting blood sugar level that is equal to or more than 7 millimoles per liter. Having HbA1c, blood levels of 6.5% and above. Acute and chronic complications of diabetes comprise a wide range of potential health problems. Acute complications can be a hypoglycemic event defined as a drop of blood sugar level to below 4 millimoles per liter, a condition that can lead to death or permanent paralysis. Critical hyperglycemic events can induce coma and require ICU admissions. Recurrent infections are not uncommon complications. 
Diabetic people are among the high-risk populations to contract severe illnesses of COVID-19. Most chronic complications of diabetes are the result of vascular damage. This includes eye problems leading to blindness, kidney failure, and heart attacks. This disease is one of the leading causes of lower extremities amputation. In addition to nerve damage, and increased risks of burns and skin lesions. This metabolic disorder can significantly lower the quality of life if ignored. However, the good news is, many cases, only require a few lifestyle changes to reverse or regulate diabetes type 2. Weight loss plays a significant role in the treatment of diabetes. Losing 10% weight may reverse this medical condition. Adopting a more active lifestyle enhances the efficiency of the treatment. Controlling the risk factors such as a balanced diet, and quitting smoking can improve the progress of the disease. The management of diabetes starts with lifestyle adjustments. Then medications are added as needed, to control blood sugar levels, and delay the development of complications. Oral antidiabetics assist in increasing insulin secretion by the pancreas, while some other drugs facilitate the use of this hormone by the cells. Insulin is regarded as the most effective treatment of diabetes. However, some side effects come along with this treatment, such as hypoglycemia and a skin condition called lipodystrophy. Other groups of medications are used to decrease and control the complications that are often associated with diabetes. Now let's have a look at the answers of the following four questions. In the next videos we will talk in more details about diabetes mellitus, especially the risk factors, diet and treatment. In addition to the type 1, and gestational diabetes. Now we have come to an end, thank you for joining us in another video covering health related topics with medical arts officials. Subscribe to support our channel. Like and share with your friends. Leave your comment below about your thoughts, questions, or suggestions. Thank <laughs> you.